this is a product which is um, called an immune modulator. What does that mean? An immune modulator, rather than an immune stimulant, will work in the immune system when it's needed, and it will stop working when it's not needed. So it's not possible then with this product to develop autoimmune disease, and that's really important to know. And the product is a um, lactobacillus. Now, uh, when physicians prescribe antibiotics, they tell people to get lactobacillus acidophilus. So you've heard of acidophilus. So this is along those lines, but it's not acidophilus. It's within that broad group of bacteria called lactobacillus. You should know there are two immune systems. We won't go into a lot of detail, but there are two immune systems. One is called the innate immune system, and that's what protects us day in and day out. Okay? So wherever you go and it's a new place for you to be, your immune system kicks in and it says, oh, there we're seeing some things we haven't seen before, so we need to protect you against these things. The immune system protects us. The second immune system is called the adaptive immune system, adaptive immune system. An adaptive immune system produces antibodies, and that's what happens when we get a vaccine, or vaccination, like a flu shot. It takes 7 to 10 to 12 days to develop antibodies from this flu shot. That's the adaptive system. The innate immune system and the adaptive immune system talk to each other like a motherboard and a computer. Everything happens fast. It's very responsive to any outside source which would the body would consider it to be foreign to what goes on inside of our body. 